Okay, I am gonna open this first. Yes, I used a pen. Hello everyone and welcome to a mini haul, if you will. Not a lot of things, just a few planner restock items. I figured I would record this because I'm getting back into my planner space. I fell off for a month and a half, two months, but we're here and we have a package and we're gonna open it. Let's go through these. Ooh, so, so what you're saying is we're gonna keep getting these? We're still getting these. So, these dust bags. I feel like I, did I miss a memo where it's like this is going to be a constant? Did I miss that? Either way, I have quite a few of these and I use them for the books that I'm reading. I do have larger versions of this. It has the drawstring at the top. I use the various sizes for whatever book I'm reading. I put all of my reading related things in there and I just tote that around. This is the stack we're working with. Not a lot of things in this particular order, but we're gonna go through them. I'm going to show you ways I will be incorporating them into my planner. If some of these are things I'm not opening right now, hopefully I have a version of this that's open so that we can really use them and you can see how it looks outside of the packaging. First, let's start with, let's start with the receipt. And in here we have anything on my hands. I hope not, because I'm about to touch everything. We have a few cards here. Don't be ridiculous, focus for me. Okay, good. We have this one and we also have this one. There it is. So those cards are gonna go into my stash of other cards. Let me get my receipt out. So the first thing I'm pulling out, if you saw the May plan with me, then you would know that my, my dashboard on the front is ruined because of the dashboard behind it. So you see that? It kind of left this awful stain on the back of my dashboard. And I really did love this one. Love this one. And I was hoping I would find it on the site I did see it in the last chance section on Cloth and Paper's website, but old man procrastination came and met me that day and then it was gone. So yeah. So we're taking this out completely and we are throwing it in the trash actually. The only way I see myself keeping this is if I put like sticky notes over it, but even then, is it worth it to keep it? I don't think so. Remind myself why I'm not keeping it by doing this with it. Does that hurt anybody's feelings? So the one that I got to replace it since the other one, hold on, tell me please. And that's upsetting me. I thought I've made an error. I thought I would be able to use this one and put my new one in front of it. That's what I thought I was gonna be able to do. Uh, let me get the color right so you can appreciate that. So I thought I would be able to, that's not even the color, it's a little bit more on the mustard side than what you're seeing. But anyway, I thought I would be able to put my new one over it, but why did I not realize that it is cardstock? So that's not gonna work, now is it? So I still need to order another dashboard to go in front of this one. So for now, for now, I'm just going to move my do what I wanna be known for. I don't wanna move that though. The front of my planner is just gonna be looking very incomplete for the time being because I don't wanna put this work in progress in the front covering up the beauty that is the paint swatch. So I'm not gonna put myself through that. I'm not even gonna try and figure it out right now, but this is what I got. Hopefully you're getting a close up of it 
it says work in progress an unfinished project that is still being added to or developed you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously sophia bush who's sophia bush is this somebody i know is this somebody i would want in my planner anyway so this is the one i'm um, by that Maybe I'll put it in my other planner. I don't know, but I don't like how that is what it was. Okay, I learned my lesson. Now I know. I ordered some more task planner inserts. These are just the lined pages that I use for my lists and I always get them with whatever order because I know I always use them. Okay, I have two, and even though you just saw the task planner inserts, I have the task planner notepads, because why not? They just come in handy. In the past, they used to be a little bit more faint with the lines. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I use them for pre-planning. I use them for maybe even uh, recipes or jotting down video ideas, stuff like that. It varies. Next, we have a few sticky notes. So we have, this is Angora. And then I have two Ash. And then I have one stone. Now to put the Angora next to the stone, hopefully it will bring up a subtle green hue. A little bit, a little bit. And then putting it next to one of the ash so you can see the colors a little bit better in hopes that you do anyway. There you go. So now you can kind of see the difference in the colors a bit. That is the order. Really quick, simple, to the point. I'm going to put you on the overhead because I want to show you a few things within the planner. I'm looking over there because I hope there is a dashboard that maybe I have and didn't realize I could use or want to use in the front. Because I don't want to just leave it there. I don't know. 